Good afternoon, I'm David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire and I've been getting a lot of comments on a couple of our tarp series so what I want to do is to show you how uh, to make a few different shelters. One was a question about what if we didn't have any sticks? Well, let me address that for a minute. If you're out in the bush and you don't have a walking stick but you don't have a tree, you're in some trouble. Uh, you probably are up on the top of a ridge line and so you need to do something to shelter yourself in a pretty quick emergency situation. It could be 65, 70 degrees during the day on a ridge line on top of a mountain and go down to 20, 20 degrees or colder at night with a strong wind blowing. And if you don't have anything else, you need to know a trick in order to, to protect yourself from the elements. So I want to show you a quick tarp trick that will enable you to be able to shelter no matter where you are as long as you have at least a tarp. Uh, for this demonstration I'm going to have my son help us so that I can show you uh, the effectiveness of this. You can do it yourself, it's very simple, but I'm going to have Stephen help us out so that you can see it a little bit easier. You all remember Dew, Stephen, everybody calls him Dew, from another video. And what we've done is we've laid an 8x10 tarp out here. Now, when I go out, I carry generally an 8x10 or a 10x12 tarp. That gives me enough versatility to do different things that I want. But what we're going to do is show you how to make this tarp into a shelter real fast, about 30 seconds to get into it, that will protect you from snow, wind, rain, and the elements. Okay, so do go ahead and lay in the tarp. Now what he's going to do is we've spread the tarp out so that the tarp is catty-cornered. You can see he's putting his head up near one corner. He's going to be about a foot and a half, two foot from that corner. And then he's going to pull the base of the tarp up over his feet. He'll put his feet together and just pull that base up. This is much like a blanket wrap. Now he will take and tuck in this side here and then pull it up over top of him. I have a friend named Vector on a forum who has called this the burrito wrap. And you see that Dew tuck that in underneath of himself and then he's just going to simply roll in the tarp until he's totally off the edge he can see there and then he can just pull himself in and pull the cap over top then pull that head over top of him and once he pulls it in he's totally enveloped in there of course he still has breathing space so you can see that that was a quick and expedient way to make a shelter if you have nothing except for a tarp with you and again it will protect you from the elements it will keep you warm it will keep you dry it will keep you from the wind, which are some of the uh, deciding factors. Of course, you don't want to pitch that or lay in that right inside of an area where there's going to be a flood or where there's lowlands. You may end up getting swept away like in a boat. But uh, other than that, and you don't want to pitch on the side of a hill whenever you're pitching. You want to try on uh, stay on level ground because that kind of a setup will slide. But that's a good good trick to remember if you don't have any sticks whatsoever. And I hope that helps you out. Maybe you've heard of a baker's tent or a, a lean-to kind of shelter out in the bush. There's a way to make this out of one tarp with two poles, whether they're trekking poles. We're going to use our trekking poles because if I use this setup, it will be for me and my wife and probably the babies. And you'll see that a tarp that's a decent size will handle all those people. I can have a long fire in front of the tarp that will reflect off us and keep us warm. But it's a very quick expedient way to get protection on three sides as opposed to just one side with a lean-to. The first thing we're going to need for this setup are two trekking poles. Tam and I generally carry trekking poles with us out into the bush or walking sticks so we have those available for us. The second thing that we're going to need are some stakes. I've got four ABS plastic stakes. These stakes are worth their weight in gold, folks. If you've never seen these, you need to go get them. They're relatively inexpensive. Because they're built on a triangular structure, they're very strong and they won't bend easily. 
uh, when you put them into the ground, which is important here where we have a lot of rust. I also have a couple of metal stakes. These are a little easier to drive than those ABS, but uh, they may not hold up under the rocky soil conditions. We also have four of those tarp clips. If you remember the tarp clips from our video uh, with the TP, these tarp clips just simply snap out, go around the tarp, and then clip back in. And that makes it easy to hook those or anchor them to the ground. And then we've got a couple of feet of cordage. This is two 25-foot hanks, uh, and these will be important when we get to the staking off process. I also have a tarp, which is 9 by 12. 9 by 12 is a good size tarp for a small family. Again, when Tam and I go out, it may be Tam, myself, and the two babies. And so this will give us enough room in there to squeeze in and have a long fire set up in front of the shelter. Now, one of the problems is I don't need a 9 by 12. What I need is a square tarp. So what we need to do first off is to make this tarp into a 9 by 9. Let me show you how to do that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the corner of this tarp and I'm simply going to walk over top and I'm going to fold it up until the edge is squared off. With that edge squared off, that now gives me a triangle that's a 90 degree or a right angle triangle. And then I can fold this piece in like so. Now when I unfold this, I now have a square tarp that I'll be able to work with. So what I'm going to do is to get my son to help us to show you how to set this up. This isn't a one person setup. This takes at least two people. So I'm going to get Dude to help me set this up and uh, we'll be right back with you to do that. I hope you can hear me all right. We've got a, quite a bit of wind out here today and so we're trying to get a good recording for you. What we've done is laid the tarp out into a diamond shape with one point of the diamond toward the front, one point of the diamond toward the very back of our tarp. And we've laid that folded over edge on the side. Uh, we don't want it up near the front. It's on the back end. Now what Du and I are going to do is we're going to take and we're going to measure a spot right on this grommet, right inside the grommet here. And what we're doing is trying to get a square back here. So, do that's good. Go ahead and hold that point right here. Go ahead and hold that point right here. And uh, I'm going to measure down this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my tarp clip right here. And Du's going to put the other tarp clip on the other side where he measured out that spot. Well, I got one tarp clip here. And once you get these tarp clips set, you've got the shelter about half finished, so that's real important. We'll put the other tarp clip right out here on the spot that we had. Just snap that right up around. So we've got the tarp clips on. The next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to leave do on this side, is that we're going to go ahead and fold this small triangular piece underneath the tarp. 